Camelot331 here, and I have a story today that is pretty unbelievable and pretty disgusting and kind of heartbreaking, I'm going to be honest, because, like, if you can't trust the person delivering your damn packages, who can you trust, man? Who can you trust, all right, when somebody likes this falls through the damn cracks, man. So I'll just get right to the point. So FedEx, there's a FedEx driver, and this FedEx driver did something so undamn believable that I honestly, when I saw this pop up on my feed, I could not believe it, and I'm just, oh, wow. My heart goes out to these people, man, because this is unfreaking believable. But let's let's jump into it. Uh, make sure you share this, please, for awareness, because this is very damn important, man. So check this out right here. So this says right here, FedEx driver abducts and kills a seven-year-old girl he spotted on his delivery route. Jesus, man. Like, I don't even, I can't even believe it. Look how, and look how adorable she is. It says, authorities said they received a tip Friday that helped uh, them determine the FedEx driver who made a delivery in front of the girl's home at the time Athena went missing had, in fact, abducted her. Deputies believe Athena died within an hour of, uh, abduction, of course. The suspect is a contract driver who was identified as a 31-year-old Tanner Lynn Horner from Lakesworth. Some of the answers are not the answers that we could have hoped for. We want to send our condolences to the family of Athena Strand. It says Athena was abducted in Paradise, Texas on Wednesday, November 30th, around 5.45 p.m. Authorities in Dallas said her body was recovered between 7 and 8 p.m. December 2nd. <sighs> it hurts our hearts to know that that child died. She is on her way now to a medical examiner's office, and there's a Texas Ranger in front of her and a Texas Ranger behind her. Strand was last seen wearing a gray long sleeve shirt with white flowers, blue jeans with white flowers in the pockets, and brown boots. We are sad that it didn't end the way we hoped it would end, Atkin added. Horner has been booked into the Wise County Jail under a $1.5 million bond. He's been charged with murder and aggravated kidnapping. Police say Horner confessed to the crime and has no relation to the family. Just completely random. Says the investigation is ongoing. The fact that he has a bond and can be bailed out is undamn believable to me. I'm honestly, I'm just flabbergasted that this dude can actually be bailed out of jail after kidnapping and, and murdering a seven-year-old. Like, how is that even possible? That that is even an option? I, I don't really understand. Now, granted, like, the law is pretty, pretty insane nowadays, let's be honest. Uh, nothing really tends to ever make sense. But let's see what the grandfather said. So here, here this is right here. It says, This flesh, this man that I am, is angry, and I want five minutes alone in a cell with the psycho that took our Athena away from us. But there is a soft, gentle voice in the back of my head telling me I need to forgive him. This flesh man wants that psycho to burn in hell. Yet the gentle voice continues to tell me I need to forgive him. Hate is a powerful force that will take root in your soul. Then hate would root itself in my heart, and I would be destroyed. The gateway for evil we see growing in the world today. God, look at this freaking bastard. There's not one ounce of my flesh that wants to to do this or say this, but my spirit has heard God's voice, and right now, while my tears flood my eyes, I declare publicly that I forgive this man. Hate will not win. Okay, look, see that this is why look, I don't I don't knock it. I don't knock it at all, man. Like if you're religious, if that's what you you know you follow and it helps you in life, that is great. But I, it, I do not jive with it because the fact that this man is like, I ah, forgive him immediately after he brutally killed somebody. I'm just not from the same cloth. Look, I'm from the Bible Belt in Alabama. But look, I mean, you know, that's his prerogative to forgive somebody, you know, whatever. But God, I would I would curb stomp this guy so hard that like you would hear it in China. Like, I'm not joking. If this was if this had happened to somebody in my family. I've seen things like this in the past where um, a man abducted a girl, okay? He abducted a girl, and then she was returned, and his the girl's daughter approached him and just got in his face and yelled at him. Dude, there would have been no words. It would have been over. I would have went to jail. And a lot of people were like, well, is that worth it? I'm, yes, 100%. My heart goes out to this family. My heart goes out to this girl. And I hope this dude gets shivved 90 times in prison and keeps surviving, but keeps getting shivved and then surviving <laughs> and suffering forever. What a devastating story. I, I just didn't, in, I didn't enjoy, uh, I didn't enjoy uh, reading this one at all. It's meaningless to forgive someone who hasn't acknowledged the harm he has done, feels real remorse and then asks for forgiveness. I agree with that. It's a death penalty state. Ooh, 
let's hope. Let's hope so. I'm so for that. To be honest, I think if you uh, if something happens to you and there is irrefutable evidence that somebody hurts somebody in your family or murders somebody in your family, that you should be able to do the same thing to them. If for like if my mom was attacked and somebody took her life in a brutal way, I should be legally allowed to after a court under supervision to do the same shit to him. Forgiveness is more beneficial for the person doing the forgiving. Otherwise, the anger would take over your life. The anger, yes. Um, I, I can see where that's coming from. Like, look, I, no, I'm not throwing shade at that dude at all that, you know, is forgiving. You know, I, I, that's pretty admirable that he feels that way. I guess he's a better man than me. I could never do that. I would I would make it my life's mission to sneak into the court or something and shiv this dude, like myself, personally. Like, I'm just, dude, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm different, man. But God, unbelievable story, and this is terrible. And I'm I'm sad. I'm sad that these these things happen and these things exist. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, would you have forgiven this man? I wouldn't. So get the hell on it, dog on it. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video.